Hey guys and welcome to the software setup. So the first command we're going to be running is uh, sudo wget and this URL https colon slash slash goo.gl slash yxjrlj. The first y and the last lj are capital. Actually, this is actually a new type of installation I'm uh, going to be now showing. It just downloads a script and when you run the script it does all the code for you. So you can see it says now saved as the yxlrj if you use the ls command. So we're going to now rename that file to setup light. So the command you want to use is, oh, make sure you're in the, uh, make sure you have half no disk as well. To uh, rename the file you're going to use sudo space mv space yxjrlj and you're going to hit space and type in setup light one word. And if you do uh, ls, you're going to see the file was renamed successfully. Now you want to run sudo chmod plus x setup light and hit enter. And next sudo chmod 777 space setup, uh, setup light and hit enter. And uh, make sure you have those two commands uh, typed in successfully. And if you do ls, setup light should now be a green script. If it's green, that means it's now a script. Uh, so next you want to run sudo dot slash setup light. That's going to execute it and run out the commands. If you hit enter, it's going to make a Python directory if you don't already have one. And it's also going to download and install all the Python and the accessory files for you, which save a lot of time. So you don't have to code it. You can see it's downloading everything from the uh, GitHub I made for the files. Depending on your internet, it might be a lot faster or slower. These are pretty small files, by the way. And there you can see, when it gives you the process complete, you're good to go. Um, so now if you see, uh, if you go to your HAP Node.js and then go uh, uh, to your accessories folder, oops, sorry about that. You're going to see a light accessory file should now be there. It should have been there before, but this one is now fully edited. So now if you look at, uh, there should also be a Python directory as well in the uh, root of half Node.js. And if you go to the Python directory, light 0.py and light 1.py will be there. Ignore the rest of these files. They're just development files on my side. Now if you go back to the hapnode.js directory and go back uh, to the accessories folder, oops, wrong commander. Yeah, you want to make sure you go to the accessories folder. And uh, now you want to na uh, nano into the lightaccessory.js by using the command sudo nano lightaccessory.js and hit enter. You're now in the light accessory file. So uh, I highly suggest you change the display name first. That's what the device is named on your device, uh, on your iOS device. So you can rename it, but it's better to have it on a server side. So here I'm just going to name, uh, name mine Bedroom Lights. And you want to also change the username. You don't want to use the generic username. It's going to mess with the pairing and it's going to make it more problematic. So just uh, change the username. You don't need to memorize it or anything. It's not like an actual username. It's a, more of a device user, how it identifies the lights, the iOS device. So, if you uh, scroll down to where it says, oh yeah, you want to make sure display name and everything are correct. And if you scroll down to where it says initial value, uh, that's the manufacturer. You can change that to whatever you want. So here I just used Walmart. And then I'm just doing metal light uh, lights with stand. Next, there's gonna be serial. I'm just gonna try to be funny here. Do was up, homie. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna remove the homie part. And so it's just was up. I. Uh, you can see. Uh, this is where the main code is. The power state C type. Um, so don't mess with this code. This is the core of the app and uh, you don't really want to mess with this stuff. So 
So uh, you can see light one is the one that switches on the light and light zero is what switches off the light. And now you want to do control X, Y, and then hit enter. That's going to exit you. Oh, uh, by the way, um, the hue C-type, the brightness C-type, none of those work. Uh, you can try to program those yourself, but um, this tutorial doesn't cover those. So like I said before, use control X and then click Y to uh, exit. Now we're going to go to the hardware setup. Uh, this is how to wire your light to the Raspberry Pi. And there we go. Um, so here's a general overview of what we're going to be doing to the wiring. Um, we're going to um, cut the wire and uh, only one part of the wire and connect one end, the both cut ends into the relay board. So the relay board connects the uh, circuit. So I actually have a relay module here. I highly suggest, oh there you go, you can see um, you have three ports. Um, I highly suggest the foam, it insulates it. Um, so to make sure you don't get shocked uh, if you touch them. I'm using an audio cable to simulate um, the uh, power cable. I don't have any power cables around um, that I can freely use. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a few, uh, some sharp scissors. Um, and uh, there you go, I got my scissors there. They're a bit, they're, they might look dull, but they're pretty sharp. So um, you want to only cut one wire out of the two. As so here, I'm cutting one wire. So you can go. Make sure you don't uh, fully uh, cut both wires, or else that becomes a problem. So just make sure you cut one, like the previous side. Then you want to get an X-Acto knife and uh, split both wires, like here. And make sure you're careful and you don't cut the non. Uh, you don't want to touch the other wire. So uh, make sure uh, you're uh, splitting the wire carefully. And so uh, we're going to do it on both. If you don't use much pressure, it won't fully cut through. So I suggest you flip over to the other side and use the same amount of pressure. So here we go. We cut the. We've just uh, separated both the, the uh, power and ground cables. The jack. Just ignore the audio jack. It's going to be more or less similar. And so now you want to cut another part into the uh, audio cable. And now you want to fully cut it. Here you can see now it's two ends. Now you want to strip the insulation off the wire. This is actually pretty easy on a power wire. So copper is pretty strong and you have to be gentle. You're actually going to see some metal shielding. That's only for audio cables. Very few power cables have metal shielding. You can see that metal shielding. So you can just put that aside. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, if your power cable does have it, uh, just ignore it. You can see the actual copper is beneath the red wire in my cable as well. So I'm going to have to remove the insulation to reveal the raw copper. That's what we're going to connect to the relay router. So make sure you guys are really careful. You don't want to cut the cable or else it's going to be a hassle. Make sure you carefully strip the wires of its insulation. There we go. Now I'm going to be going to the second part. So here I have removed the insulation off the second part. So yeah, just ignore the shielding for now. If you, uh, most power cables won't have shielding. So, and here you go. That's the raw copper. And uh, you want to insulate the other part as well. If you have wire strippers, feel free to use them. I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty professional and not damage the wire at all. There you go. So we got both coppers now fully exposed and so now what we're going to do is we're going to put those into the uh, relay module the normally uh, op uh, closed and the uh, middle I think it's the normally open or closed I'm not sure just use the wiring diagram I had before you start so if you cut a little if you strip a little too much of the wire just fold it down and increase the thickness and then twist it Just quickly twist it. Like so. My camera did catch. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's um, how you want to make it if you strip too much of the wire. My camera isn't focusing. Sorry about that. 
So now you just want to put this directly into the relay module. Um, make sure, I highly suggest you guys do have the phone because I'm not responsible if you guys get hurt because of the electricity. So now you want to loosen the terminals a bit. So I'm going to use my uh, Phillips head screwdriver and loosen them up. I don't think that was enough, so I'm going to need to loosen it a bit more. Gonna, oh, that seems to have worked okay. Uh, then tighten it back up. Uh, by the way, all the parts will be in the description. So here's the second part. Um, I highly suggest you get a new relay module if you're going to do this. I don't really suggest using an old relay module. It's, it's not effective because already the terminals are going to be pretty well used. So if you have a new relay, just feel free to use it. But these are like, if you get them from AliExpress, they're really cheap. See, if you use a used relay, the terminals aren't very good. And you're going to need to use a flathead screwdriver to lift the terminals manually. Like I'm going to have to. Where's that flathead? Oh, there it is. I'm trying to loosen it a bit more with the flathead sometimes helps. Let me give it one more try. Yeah, it's not working. We're going to need to use the flathead to increase the clearance for the cable. I think it should fit now. Yep, it did. So we're just going to screw it in. There we go. Almost done. And make sure it's tight. Uh, do the tug pull. Yeah, um, make sure. Yeah. Do the tug. Yeah, make sure all your connections are secure. Do, yeah, do the tug. Make sure they don't come out. You don't want these live connections coming out. Very dangerous, by the way. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the shielding off in my... If you have the shielding, uh, I suggest you cut off the shielding. It might interfere with the relay. So we go. Creates quite a mess, by the way, as you can see. There we go. And that should be it. Uh, sorry about using the audio cable. Uh, I didn't have any power uh, connectors, so really sorry about that. And uh, that should be it. Make sure it's steady. There we go. Good. Thumbs up. So that's uh, the end of the uh, actual wiring. So here's actually another picture of my wiring at my setup. Um, so you can see I actually put some uh, electrical tape just to protect it. Um, you can see the relay. Um, this is actually a different relay module, by the way. And just as a quick look. And here's the wiring to the Raspberry Pi. You want to connect pin 2. Uh, the 5 volt to VCC, uh, pin 6 ground to the ground on the relay, and pin 16 on the Raspberry Pi to in 1 on the relay board, or in 2 if you use that. And now we're going to do the pairing setup. So first you want to make sure you have node started on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, I highly suggest you install a node module forever. Uh, I have a tutorial for that in the description. I also have a video, uh, no, uh, if you guys want a video on that, uh, leave a comment below so I can make a video how to set that up forever. But I already have a text tutorial. So here, you want to use sudo forever start core.js and make sure you're in the hap.node.js directory. And once you hit enter on that command, it should give you a success. Um, uh, there we go, forever processing file. It'll give you that uh, dialog. And now uh, on my phone, make sure you have the HomeKit app. I've already installed it. Use my previous tutorial to install it. And uh, there we go. And now go to the Configure tab and click on Add Accessory. It should be right there. I rename mine Light Post later. You want to keep it to the assigned room you want and click Add. Just click on Add anyway. And now you want to enter code manually. 03145. 154. That's the default pairing. And it should say device ready. Uh, you can click done on top. And now you can see it's active. 
uh, light post. And uh, now if you go to control, uh, light one, light service, you should be able to toggle your light on and off, given that it's plugged in. So now you want to go back to the uh, configure tab once you've made sure it works. Go to the light post section, click on light one, and make sure you select the light power state star. Then it comes to your favorites for quick control. Oops, I selected the name. So, okay. so now you have a uh, light post state. And so I hope you guys uh, really like this tutorial. Uh, and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more videos.